Hi guys, how you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a review of my Canon G3X. Now I've had this camera for about four months and I did a review when I first got it. Now I thought I would just do another review just saying the good points and bad points about it and kind of comparing it with my 77D and just so that you can see the immense zoom on this camera which is stunning. Without further ado, let's get on. Now just to compare the two, you can see that there is a gigantic difference with the lens. Now, because I do a lot of hiking, I wanted to get a camera that had a really cool zoom lens on it. And that's partly why I chose this. So I wanted a screen as well. I wanted something that I could use for general photography so that rather than carry about the 77D with the Tamron 150 to 600 lens, which is stunning. I'll leave a link at the end of this video to um, a review of that lens. The lens is a beast, it is amazing, absolutely stunning. But onto the G3X, I wanted a camera that would be able to have a massive zoom on it to enable me to get some wildlife really far away, but that also had a screen that would sort of pop up either at the top or at the side whichever and that's what I was looking for. Now a lot of vloggers use a G7X which is an amazing little camera absolutely stunning but for me it didn't have the zoom that this lens has got. Just just take a look at this footage and you will see how amazing this zoom really is. mil to 600 mil. It is an absolutely stunning piece of kit. It really, really is. Now for me, the zoom lens was really, really important because Cutting this about, it's quite tricky. It's quite heavy, as you can imagine, but it takes the most stunning photographs. It really, really does. And I would say, you know, if I'm going out, if I'm going to sit by a pool somewhere, I know that there's a kingfisher, I'm going to take some, hopefully, fingers crossed, some cool pictures, some cool footage. I'm going to use that every day of the week. However, if I'm going hiking, and I'm going hiking in Switzerland uh, next year with the scouts, if I'm going hiking somewhere, you know, I think, oh yeah, I'm going to make a vlog, I might see some wildlife, then I'm going to use the G3X because it's stunning, it's really easy to use. The autofocus is okay, it's, it's pretty good. Sometimes you haven't got time to fiddle about the settings. You've got a reed bunting in a tree or something and you're like, oh wow, you know, I want to take a photo of that and you haven't got time to fiddle about the settings, just put it on auto and it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. One of the things that I have found slightly annoying, I'll be honest, is, what, oops, is when I've been doing a lot of, when I've had the lens zoomed out and then I'm following a car perhaps in a rally and then I zoom it in a little bit like this, and then I zoom out again and to get the car sort of further up the, the hillside. Occasionally I've gone to push the lens back in and it's kind of stuck. Uh, I don't know why, it's just one of those glitches. 
the easiest way I find to do that is to just literally just turn it off wait a few secs turn it back on and then the glitch stops and it's fine um, I do really like the touch screen I think it's fantastic there's an awful lot on it I think it's superb I like uh, the fact that you've got a hybrid auto which means that you can create a tiny movie while shooting a still image which is cool uh, I really like as I say the creative shot which is fantastic um, it's got enough settings I like the um, sport setting that kind of will freeze the action that's pretty cool and it does work it works really really well the only slight issue and I did say in the first review that actually oh no it's fine you don't need a viewfinder very very occasionally I have found that um, when the sunlight is lighting up your subject but actually it's then uh, lighting up also the screen at the back you can't see as well as you could if you had a viewfinder it's not a major thing because you can move to another position and still get some cool light and it's fine so I don't think it's that much of an issue for me it wasn't an issue at all buying the camera the other thing is it only takes it um, well I say only it um, records in 1080 for me that was great because my other computer couldn't really cope with 10 with 4k um, some people have said oh no it's horrendous it's a massive camera and it doesn't have 4k footage didn't matter to me it might matter to you um, but for me this is an absolutely stunning stunning camera it just means that I can take uh, I, I you know I can take this around with me it's um, as you can see 24 to 600 um, mil comparison the only a slight issue maybe but obviously I knew this when I bought it you need to have that if that's just slightly like that then the picture as you can see is upside down it needs to be facing like that right clipped in to get the picture the correct way up when it's facing you obviously that means if you're going to attach a microphone here and there's a microphone socket at the side here you can't do that because that gets in the way and to have the screen back slightly so you can still see the screen means that it's now upside down it's just a slight annoyance really um, but having said that the microphone on here is very very good so it doesn't really matter that that's an issue uh, for me it certainly doesn't matter at all I think it works really well Guys, this camera comes along with 20 megapixels, a 1.0 type sensor and a Digic 6 processor. So it is packed with kit and that means that you get super crisp images even in low light and it works. It really is stunning. This video isn't sponsored by anybody or anything like that. It's not sponsored by Canon or anything. So I can just tell you exactly what I think and I think it is a superb camera. I really would recommend buying one of these if you're thinking about getting a new camera to complement your DSLR it's obviously not maybe not quite as good as a DSLR regarding the fact that obviously you can't change the lenses or anything but for image quality it is absolutely stunning so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up please smash that subscribe button I'm on my way to 200 subscribers I know it's small but it's a small start we're getting there guys and I will be looking at some of the features of this camera in the next video so if you'd like to have a look at that please hit the subscribe button um, there are also going to be some vlogs along the way with different cameras and I'm also going to be doing a review of my 77D so thanks for watching guys cheers bye for now